Sub-Saharan Africa accounts for 47% of out-of-school children worldwide. 54% of those children are girls. While there are various organizations attempting to combat this inequity, one group in particular, the African Women in Leadership Organization, is taking an alternative approach to provide girls with the support and encouragement they need to complete their education. VOA's Helena Meressa sat down with Elisha Atai, president and founder of the organization. Yeah, African Women in Leadership Organization, AULO, mm -hmm. um, is a gathering of uh, women leaders uh, across um, the continent of Africa. So is the platform where we bring these women um, together, uh, you know, uh, as an organization uh, to see how we can, um, you know, enhance the leadership qualities, how we can unnace the potential that God has given to us African women. So what inspired you to invest like your time and energy into an organization that supports African women specifically? I've seen the potential that uh, we have in our women leaders. I've seen the strong part of our women. I've also seen the little lapses that was existing then, uh, which by the grace of God were, were deleting it gradually. And uh, I felt, come, there's need for women to come together. Not that there were not other African um, uh, women organizations out there, but they were specific. But we didn't have a platform that brings all these resources together. I saw that and I felt, come, they, women would do better if we can bring these resources together as one. So what are some of the, the programs or the services specifically that you offer to support these women? Um, one Mother, One Child project is our own way of giving back uh, to the society. Um, our own, also our own way of fighting insecurity because if you educate a child, he will not go into doing some of the things that we're seeing these days. Mm -hmm. So we started the One Mother, One Child whereby every leader must at least pick up one child mm -hmm. and educate. Mm -hmm. You must adopt one child to educate. It's, it's one project that we do it with both boys and girls. And this year, raising the next generation of female leaders mm -hmm. is a special project that f for the first seven years conference that we've been doing, we never had a, a program for the young ones in terms of bringing the young ones to come interact with the, the, one, the, the adults. Yeah. This is the first time that it's going to happen where we can bring them in and mentor them mm -hmm. and have a special session where the ones, those, the adults that have, have, have made it in life, share their story. How did they get there? So it's a mentorship program that we're running, mm -hmm. and uh, we, started, uh, we, we started that project this year. There's an event happening in D.C. in a few weeks, the yeah. Global Summit. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about some of the events that are going to be happening and like the overall goal of the summit? Yeah, the things that will be happening, um, we're going to have a lot of uh, workshops, a lot of uh, plenary session, panel discussion, all about um, trying to see how we can you know, uh, help ourselves as women leaders in the continent. Mm -hmm. How we can campaign with it. It's, it's a platform for women to come and campaign with. Mm -hmm. We want to see our members understanding the vision and running with the vision and the objective of the organization.